Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Valley Life. I am Rich Kreps, and there are times in life, too, and you're thinking, you know, you've got some amazing loved ones, and you've got to deal with some mental issues like Alzheimer's or dementia, and that can be so overwhelming, you're thinking to yourself, where do I turn? We have an amazing segment, com segment coming up right now that's going to help you with that decision. Miss Jen Dahl, how are you? Hi, doing great. Thank Good. you for well, coming. As a community service representative, you're exactly who we need to speak to to talk a little bit about Home Instead Senior Care. When someone is facing the issue of a loved one having Alzheimer's or a different type of dementia, it can be so overwhelming. They don't even know where to turn. You are here to help with that. Absolutely. It's um, been an amazing experience to be the other person on the other line sure. for someone to call and say, I just found out mom's been diagnosed and I don't even know what that means. Is she right. going to get better with this? And we're just that hand that they can hold through the whole entire process. Sure. And one great thing about what you do, it's not just uh, making a phone call and trying to disseminate all this information over the phone. You have workshops that people can actually come and sit down and go through this process that will open up whole new worlds to them of how they can help their loved one. Absolutely. And the best part is it's free. Nice. I know everything is so expensive nowadays, even the fuel prices, but sure. I guarantee you that it's absolutely free to the public. It's for those families or those those loved ones that's been diagnosed with Alzheimer's or dementia and it's a four-part series okay. um, there are classes that they can come to monthly by monthly we have them so all they have to do is call okay. and see hey when's the next one I want to be signed up please save me that spot um, and certainly we will do so and um, we'll have nice treats and some coffee for them when they get here and sure. just answer any questions that they might have and um, be that helping hand through the process and it's not just a job for you you've already been through this so one that makes it more personal to you which you know I mean just right there on the tagline of the company to us it's personal but that allows you then to guide people through this a little better and with ongoing classes people can jump in you know they don't have to wait till next year for this to start up the main things make the phone call and get, get enrolled absolutely we've already started this class and we've had a few and it's been quite successful and we just want as many people in the class as possible and we're going to continue having these classes as long as people are wanting them sure. um, being someone that has had someone in their family that's had um, Alzheimer's you know I wish I had this class when we found out that my grandfather was diagnosed because there's so much stuff that that I have learned from this class sure. um, just things how to redirect them and to give them the best quality life possible and keep them home for as long as possible sure. well Jen you have an extensive list of things that can be done to help patients um, really function much uh, at, a, at a much higher level through their daily lives but give me some of those like you know the groceries taking out the garbage playing games I mean there's there are people that are um, you know specialists in certain fields to keep people functioning at a very high level Right. Um, our caregivers are trained from the time that they come in. Uh, they learn the basics, activities, safety, um, advanced items like Parkinson's and right. Alzheimer's and dementia. They're constantly going through classes, so they really are educated on how to keep that senior active. Um, and we in that class teach the family as well. Um, we, you know, get them to thinking, you know, what did mom or dad used to do that they're not doing anymore did they used to like gardening um, is it mom used to like to scrapbook let's get them back to doing those things sure they might have Alzheimer's or dementia but they're still capable of doing a lot of things with your help and with the caregivers help sure. well, I actually want to uh, I want to turn to uh, some of the books that you've got here mm -hmm. in a client journal and life journal these are tremendous supports for when you're not around so if the caregivers there they know the things that happened in their life in certain timelines. They can go back to that moment then and, and trigger, you know, memories for, for um, the individual that all of a sudden, like, yeah, you and I have talked extensively about this before, but it redirects the person. So now all of a sudden, whatever was bothering them now is gone. Absolutely. Um, each client does get a client journal, like I was stating to you before. It, um, but the life journal is actually um, directly for those uh, family members that have Alzheimer's and dementia. It goes through um, the actual life of that um, client, um, just kind of like a snapshot from their childhood, their likes and dislikes, things that they were involved in as in their family. Um, and even a section for them to put family photos and maybe different awards that they have gotten so we can go back to those times and if they're having a bad day and they're trying to get out of the house or trying to do something that's harmful to them or others, we can redirect them with things that we know about that client. Sure. Maybe that person was in the military or the person lived on an apple farm and loves apples and right. loves apple pie. Right. 
um, just little tiny details um, so we can absolutely so we can redirect them into a better time but the main thing is just to make that phone call once they get in and start realizing one there's help and two there's some organizational skills that they can put together to make their lives easier that then helps you know them as a caregiver help plus also having your people as caregivers come in and help them out absolutely and just knowing that there's someone else there um, someone to hold their hand that they're not alone that even probably that one of their best friends has someone that's had that's going through Alzheimer's going through the same thing um, our instructor Sandra she is an amazing asset to our company she um, educates all of our caregivers and she also does the family caregiver workshops um, she's been a care family caregiver for years multiple families so um, I just can't wait for everyone to meet her sure well and, you know and that's it's really that easy is you you just got to make the phone call first and the wonderful staff here with Jen they will walk you through the process you can start taking the workshops and getting a better handle on how you can help your loved one to cope at a much higher level every day and that's what it's all about and right here home instead senior care they will help you out don't go anywhere there's more valley life coming up right after this mm -hmm.